What's good, YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another reaction video. We got eight NFL teams that will definitely have a new quarterback next season. Let's check this exactly out. Exactly one quarter of the league's 32 teams desperately need a new starting quarterback for two. Oh my gosh, that's Do great. The Titans need to draft a quarterback in 2025. I think they're gonna have Facts. to. Facts. I, I don't see. Because like, bro, I try, I try to have faith in Will Levis, bro, but he's just not the answer, bro. Like, yo. Will Levis has made a meme literally every single week he has started. That's not a good thing. For this list, we're looking at teams whose 2025 starting quarterback is not currently on their roster. So with that out of the way, how about we dive right into it, starting with the Carolina the Panthers. Panthers. Yeah. The Panthers and, yeah, and Bryce, Bryce Young is starting this week too. Um, and I, But I did hear that that Andy Dalton may have gotten into a car crash. That's, that's what I heard, you know what I'm saying? I'm not, I'm not sure if that's true or not. But um, Bryce Young will be starting this week, so we can see if it was a Bryce Young problem or not. Because the, 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 the Panthers have still struggled without the Bryce Young. The 2025 NFL Other than that, that win against the Raiders. The opportunity to redeem themselves after completing perhaps the worst trade in franchise history. The fact that it took rookie head coach Dave Canales just two games to bench Young kind of says it all. Carolina yeah, Bryce need to get out of Carolina. I ain't gonna lie to you, bro. He need to he go to a way better team. And that the young man is gonna have to attempt a career revival elsewhere. Andy Dalton is not the long-term solution either. He's done a pretty good job. I feel bad for who, whoever does get drafted to um, this is still Carolina. A Carolina the team that cannot ask a journeyman back to start again for them in 2025. Carolina is poised to finish with a top five pick, putting them in a position to get a top quarterback prospect. They're essentially guaranteed one of the following: Georgia's Carson Beck, Miami's Kyle no Ward, Carson Beck is not going in the top five, top ten, maybe not even top twenty, bro. Carson Beck is complete dog shit. I don't get what the fuck the hype is about him, bro. Shador, yes, most definitely going to be a top five pick. Um, You know what I'm saying? Cam Ward, probably the top 15 pick. Milrow's going to be in the first round as well. Like, bro, I do not think Carson Beck is going to be a first round pick. I'm not even going to hold with you, bro. Colorado's Shadour Sanders, Texas Quinn Ewers, or Alabama's Jalen Milrow. Trade Young, let Dalton walk, draft one of those QBs, and never look back. The Panthers' path to returning to relevance is that simple. So long as Tepper doesn't try to ruin it for once. Cleveland Browns. Oh, the Browns for sure. Ruined their I mean, when they made the they, they, I don't think they, I don't think they gonna have a new quarterback. I really don't, bro. Cause they, they can't move on from Deshaun Watson until like what 2026. So they're still stuck with him for like a, another year or two, bro. Cause his cap hit is massive. Signal color to Deshaun Watson. He's got what a 72.9 um, million cap hit. Nearly two years because of his. Like, they're not escaping this yet, bro. Field, and yet the Browns were still so high on Watson that they sold the entire farm for him before handing the three-time pro bowler a fully guaranteed 230 only cleveland contract. bro now before you criticize the coaching and brown supporting cast may we remind you that Baker and they wonder why they don't have a ring in their franchise in 2022 and what about 2023 comeback player of the year joe flacco watson is done he is not nfl caliber and the browns are ignorant for giving him a million chances to prove himself well the browns are in a similar position as the panthers they're in line to finish with a high draft pick that'll put the franchise in a good spot to take a new quarterback the financial ramifications of Watson's contract be damned. Jimmy Haslam can afford to pay Watson for two more years until they can get out of his contract, with 2026 marking the most realistic timeline. Give Stefanski the shot to work and develop with a young, flashy QB like one of the big five prospects we mentioned above. I mean, come on, imagine Shadour Sanders no, on that offer. No, no, please no. I ain't gonna lie, don't let Shador go to Cleveland, don't let Milrow go to Cleveland, do not let Cam Ward go to Cleveland, bro. They will fuck their careers up, bro, just like they did Baker Mayfield, you know what I'm saying? Now, Carson Beck, yeah, let him go to Cleveland, because he, he sucked anyway, bro, you know what I'm saying? And, and I, I, could, I could definitely see Cleveland um, fucking this up and drafting Carson Beck. I'm not even going to hold you, bro. I'm not even going to hold you. Beck could but, bro, do not let those big three Quinn, go to go to Cleveland, bro. Their either careers way, will the be Browns fucked. Need to pay 100%. To go away or sit on the bench and draft their new starting QB in round one. New Orleans Saints. The Saints gave Derek yeah. Carr another chance to prove himself by bringing in Clint Cooper. I mean, unless, unless they have faith in Spencer but Rattler, bro. Again, but how can you pass up on this year's QB on um, class? 
Saints not to compete for the postseason. We've been saying for a while now that the Saints need to wave the white flag and just begin a full-scale rebuild. They can start at the QB position by outright releasing Carr or simply showing him the bench in favor of a different QB. Spencer Rattler has shown some promise, but the Saints would be better off just drafting and developing a new QB with higher upside. The yeah. chance to get a five and they get that fifth-year option, too. That often. Ideally, the Saints end up with someone like Beck, Sanders, or Ewers here. There are many question marks about the 2026 QB draft class, and New Orleans would be playing with fire if they thought about tanking a year in advance. If the Saints can't get their hands on a QB prospect they like, then what about taking a chance on someone like Bryce Young? Ooh. Or even Sam Darnold if he prices himself okay. in Minnesota. Just or how about both? Oh, shit. Up with Why not? Either way, Carr can't keep starting and keeping the Saints in a mushy middle territory. Rattler probably isn't the answer either. So, let's see if the front office uses common sense this time and goes with a new signal caller for 2025. Otherwise, they'll just keep setting themselves further and further backward. Tennessee Titans. Will Levis clearly yeah, is not the answer in music City. His rookie year like bro, my t my take on the Titans just did not pan out well, bro, at all, bro. Like I had so much faith in the Titans this year, and they just completely made me look like a dumbass. I'm not even gonna lie, bro. One and five, like bro, I had them potentially like second place in the division this year. I'm not even gonna lie to you. Now they're just making me look like a dumbass. Like, yo. He's been even worse in 2024. Shit. The Titans can't afford to wait and be patient with Levis. They tried that with Marcus Mariota and would have been screwed if not for Ryan Tannehill's career renaissance. I think it's about time to end the short-lived Levis project. It's yeah. only fair for Titans head coach Brian Callahan to work with a quarterback that he actually wants. And the Titans also look like they'll finish with one of the best um, That, that so quarterback draft class from last year is not looking too good. CJ Stroud is the only good quarterback from that draft class so far. If you're a Tennessee fan on Team 10, then you're probably hoping for should do her Sanders or Carson Beck. Otherwise, yeah. maybe you wonder if Callahan. Why so? Why so many people high on Carson Donald Beck, bro? Turn to JJ I don't see it. Year. What if a veteran like Geno Smith becomes available? Could Callahan want to take a chance on Daniel Jones? Hell no. The options are Daniel's not the either, bro. Line is to expect somebody other than Levis behind center next year. New York Giants. It's incredible that Daniel Jones has lasted six seasons as the Giants. Oh my quarterback. gosh, bro! This nigga's staring up. Blue. Oh, Danny Dimes' contract Dude, is every. In a way sold, that bro. lets them cut ties in 2025 with minimal financial ramifications. There was a time where Jones looked like he could be the yeah, Dan Jones about to um, start learning Chinese, buddy. Ting Tang Wang Hao. Okay, let me stop, but that sounded racist. Fuck, I ain't gonna lie, bro. Shout out to my Chinese things out there. But I think it's clear as day that Jones will never quite pan out with the Giants. If Dable is the offensive minded genius that so many people make him out to be, imagine if he got the chance to work with a better signal caller. Truth be told, we're not sure if the Giants will end up out tanking and like bro teams to and the Giants like offensive weapons are not horrible you know what I'm saying they're not horrible it's not good either but it's not horrible they got Malik Neighbors um Darius Slade and Wandale Robinson Hyatt has not panned out good so far you know what I'm saying um they got a nice little running back room you know what I'm saying with Tracy and um Devin Singletary and stuff like that but I think it's just definitely one day on Jones and two that offensive line. That offensive line is just horrific right now, bro. But if they can find a good quarterback, I think that Giants offense is going to be, I'm saying, a lot better. They already got a stacked defense. They just need that that offense to help them out, bro. Taking a chance on one of those QBs rather than keeping Danny Dimes around. Seeing what Baker Mayfield and Sam Darnold have done with their new teams, we could see Shane and Dable looking for the next reclamation project. Either way, at this point, it is long overdue to replace Danny Dimes next year. Seattle Seahawks. Seattle. Some Seahawks fans are going to question this entry, and sure, yeah, we get yeah, it. Yeah. But the Seahawks... Like, Gino, like, Gino's a good QB, don't get me wrong, but bro be selling. I ain't gonna lie, gang. He be selling. Like, bro throws the ball 50 times a game and then throws, like, multiple picks at the same time, bro. And, like, I just, I just don't think Gino is going to get you guys to a Super Bowl. Now, um, I, w I did hear a rumor that maybe, you know what I'm saying, they should trade for, for Bryce Young. I think that might be a perfect fit for them. I ain't going to lie. Bryce gets, you know what I'm saying, the weapons that he needs, and they get their Q QB of the future. You know what I'm saying? But um, Gino's, Gino's just not it. Situation really it's not it for the future, bro. Where the Vikings were Sorry. with Kirk Cousins. The Vikings moved on from Cousins and got their new guy in J.J. McCarthy before Sam Donald came out of nowhere to enjoy a career revival. I think the Seahawks need to do something similar and roll the dice on a younger QB. Don't get us wrong. Smith has been a very fun story in Seattle. 
but I think we got to admit at this point, he's hit his ceiling. He is a top 15 QB when he's on his game, but consistency issues will always be there. Now yeah. in his age 34 season, Smith is not 34? a young Seattle team should build around. They have several cornerstone players in Jackson Smith and Jigba, DK Metcalf, Charles Cross, Kenneth Walker, Devin Witherspoon. Don't forget about Tyler Lockett, Lockett so bro. So it's not exactly logical to put your Mr. future consistent. in the hands of an aging QB like Smith. Seattle, realistically, Mike won't McDonald. get to draft a top prospect in 2025 unless they trade up. So the other choice is to trade for or sign another QB. A team that won the Super Bowl over a decade ago should aim up much higher and think long term here by replacing Smith with a better, younger QB. Las Vegas Raiders. Good thing oh, for Raiders for fans sure, that bro. Tom Brady was finally approved to become a minority owner of the franchise. Oh, well, I Brady? did, I did hear about that. So, bro, what? Imagine Brady comes out of retirement just to play for the Raiders, bro. That would be crazy. I think a lot. Time, owner Mark Davis will hopefully stop embracing long-term mediocrity. Gardner Minshew II, surprise, surprise, was not the answer and got benched after five games. Second-year signal caller Aiden O'Connell. Yeah, both of them are complete dog shit, bro. He can be the guy in Sin City either. The scenario is easier said than done, but we are obsessed with the idea of Shadour Sanders coming to the Raiders. I mean, come on. Imagine Dion's son playing in a big market like the Raiders. With Brady there to serve that, the that, that's that's if Dion. Sanders allows him because you know he's gonna have like bad enough to get gonna have a lot of um say so on where he goes the top bro. 10 pick to get an elite prospect are still pretty dang solid or i don't know what if brady and davis decide to get bold and make a blockbuster trade for a veteran not sure who would be available but hey they could consider placing a call for someone like geno smith or matthew stafford what if brady i don't think stafford's going anywhere, bryce bro. young to town to see if his career could be salvaged point being the raiders will mercilessly have a new i don't know why but bryce look bro bryce looks so so good in the Raiders uni uniform, bro. I don't know why, what what is about it, but bro looks clean in the Ra Raiders uni, bro. I ain't gonna lie to you. Salvaged. Point being, the Raiders will mercilessly have a new starting QB next year. There is no question about that. Los Angeles Rams. The Matthew Stafford for Jared Goff blockbuster trade was everything both sides could have dreamed of. Stafford led the Rams to a Super Bowl 56 title in his first year with Sean McVay and company. He did his job, but Los Angeles must get younger and start a new era with a different QB. Stafford is too injury prone and past his best before date, and an offensive guru like like McVeigh must be trusted to develop a new signal caller. Stafford's contract makes a trade or release in 2025 highly unlikely, unless he agrees to a giant restructure of some sort. Never say never, but he's likely on this roster for at least one more year. Yeah. If the Rams play their cards right, though, he'll be an expensive clipboard holder instead of their starting QB. Like most other teams on this list, LA will be in a good spot to draft a quarterback in round one. If the Rams start Rams play the night so they got the Vikings. Oh yeah, and Puka the cool playing tonight too. Also, yeah, the Rams, the Rams will probably gonna be able to hold the their own tonight, bro. Potentially snagging a top QB in the 2026 draft. McVay and Stafford have formed a special relationship over their four years together in La La Land, but this is a business, and the Rams need to make 2024 yeah. Stafford's last year as their starter and go with someone younger, healthier, and cheaper in 2025. But which other NFL teams do you think will have a new starting quarterback in 2025? Do you agree with our list? What would you change? Let us know in the comment section below. If you like this video and learned a thing or two, then hey, clicking that like button helps us out a ton. And you know, we really appreciate it. If this is your first time coming around to TPS though, subscribing is a great idea because we put out videos like this every single day. But as always, thanks for watching and we'll see you guys next time. Hey man, um, another team that I think he forgot about is as much as, you know what I'm saying, as much, as much as I know that, that that this is probably not gonna happen, I feel like Dallas needs to move on from Dak, bro. I'm not even, I'm not even gonna hold you. Dak's a good QB. Don't get me wrong, but bro has not looked like his regular season self this season, bro. We know how good Dak is in the regular season. Bro throws for like forty plus touchdowns and um over four thousand yards. You know what I'm saying regular season and shit. But he has just not looked that good this year, bro. You know what I'm saying I don't know what it is. Like the whole the offense as a whole has not looked good. The defense hasn't looked good either, bro. You know what I'm saying like allowing like forty plus points at home this season. Like it's just not it, bro. You know what I'm saying I think they need to trade Dak because I think they can trade Dak now. Now that um you know what I'm saying he's on a new contract and shit. I feel like they can trade him, you know what I'm saying, or 
no, I'll just cut them, bro. But I highly doubt that they're gonna cut them, bro. You know what I'm saying? Without getting anything back for it. So, um, that's one thing I think is gonna happen that, that Dak might be, you know what I'm saying? He might be a Raider next season. Who knows, bro? You know what I'm saying? But, um, I wanna know what you guys think down in the comments below. Y'all let me know what other NFL videos you want me to react to. Without further ado, I'm out. Yeah.